all know how law and order is not being followed in this country anymore and it is really uh, something that has become not even a big deal especially with those who are you know in the corridors of power they do not bother to uh, you know uh, try to even uh, follow the law you know there's no rule of law for them they believe that uh, they can do and undo the threatening people in the streets and so on and so forth and this alone has caused so many issues in the country today but i really don't know why the cgn has called uh, you know other sons in the country perhaps he wants to correct some you know some things because he ordered that they be someone that most of those are uh, uh, heads of courts, judges, and the like that they should, you know, report. But I don't know why and what he really needed them for. But let's see. Remember that even that of uh, Sunday Boho, that uh, after giving the court order that, uh, you know, the aid should be released, imagine how the DSS, because nobody follows law and order, they still held, you know, these guys in their uh territory even after the court injunction after the court has even asked that they be released yet they still held them back and you think a country like this respects law and order well i don't think so but let's see why the cgn has summoned all the other heads of the court well in this very report but please ensure you subscribe give this video a thumbs up turn on the notification bell like and also share this video all right guys without further ado let us dive right into the details of this report. Here's the Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJ, and Chairman of the National Judicial Council, Justice Tanko Muhammad, has summoned the Chief Judges. This is part of efforts to stem the recent wave of embarrassing and conflicting expert orders emanating from judges in their jurisdictions. In a letter of invitation dated 30th of August 2021, Incited by a judiciary co correspondent, the CGN summoned the head of the concerned courts to the emergency meeting to brief him on the incessant granting of the conflicting orders on suits instituted by different political parties before the various courts. The, spokesperson, the spokesperson of the NJC, Soji Oye, confirmed to our correspondent that the letter indeed emanated from the office of the CJN but declined to say on what specific day the meeting has been scheduled for. He, however, said that the meeting will hold sometime this week. A part of the invitation letter reads, My attention has been drawn to media reports to the effect that some courts of the coordinated jurisdictions were granting conflicting expertise orders on the same subject matter. It has become expedient for me to invite you for a detailed briefing on the development. This is even more compelling having regard to an earlier NJC warning to judicial officers on the need to be circumspect in granting expertise applications. It was also revealed during the channel's television uh, interview that the meeting between, uh, sorry, uh, during the channel's television uh, gathering, that's the meeting between the CGN and the head of courts, concerned is a prelude to a larger. It was also gathered that the meeting between the CJN and the heads of the courts concerned is a prelude to a larger NGC meeting likely to hold next week. The leadership of the judiciary is said to have embarrassed at the recent development and the meeting is part of the measures to stem the tide and to be seized of the fact before the larger council deliberation. Yeah, you know, uh, the CGN, well, he has done a good thing because uh, what he's trying to say is that uh, there's been a lot of conflicting, you know, a lot of conflicting uh, uh, uh reports from various judges 
when one is given a go ahead you go to another court another person is telling you no that case cannot be you know uh, 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 closed or that case cannot be continued you know different report from different angles you know that is the same thing that even happened in the people's democratic party where they actually made the uh party chairman you know they unseat him and expected that he would go but you know some people in another state had to go ahead to fight that cause and at the end of the day he was returned to office and that is exactly the same thing we're saying now the the issue of this thing is so conflicting that you know a lot of a lot of issues a lot of things are just you know happening in the country today and I really feel that the uh, CGN should call them, not just those in River State and uh, some of the states he just mentioned, all the states, you should rather call them together and make sure that they don't give conflicting, uh, you know, judgment. Let their judgment be straightforward. If this is it, let it be it. Not because the truth is, if you are in an appeal court and you feel, okay, I'm not satisfied with it, with this, or... Or you go to a Supreme Court and, you know, they finally tell you this is what to do. And that is it. But at the end of the day, you see people going to appeal court. From appeal, they go to this court and do all this and that. But it's really, really not important that they do all that. They, I believe once the uh, highest body of the courts have given their verdict, I believe that should be it. And they should forget about any other thing, not going from one court to another and ensuring that uh, they win the case or to ensure that their opponent loses the case and so on and so forth but all the same i just hope that uh, nigeria will become a better place for everyone to live in because indeed nigeria has been very very frustrating for a lot of nigerians yes it has been a very frustrating place for a lot of people to live especially now that uh, there's a lot of insecurity there's no straight judgment you know, people do not even have guarantee that if they take their cases to court, that, uh, you know, they will have judgment and all of that. Even when people uh, take each other to court, they are scared of the outcome because they know that a lot of money changes hand. There's a lot of uh, money changing hand. And at the end of the day, they give the wrong verdict about that very report. So it is really difficult for a lot of people to trust the court these days to take their issues there. And the court used to be the best place where you have uh, very deep issues that you just need to settle, you know. But at the end of the day, what's, what is what has come out of it? But anyway, guys, you've heard it all. What uh, more can we say? We just keep praying and hoping that things get better for Nigeria. Because indeed, right now, the CGN really needs this because a lot of these judges give conflicting orders and also give conflicting judgments which do not speak well of Nigeria. So, my dear people, drop your comment. Let's hear from you and also give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.